This is Brenda Solis from Global Group Media, reporting from Los Angeles, a city known for its gangs and juvenile violence. In the last five years, from Boyo Heights to the Valley, from West Los Angeles to South Los Angeles, youth violence and crime has been decreasing. Could this decrease be the result of more kids becoming involved in after-school programs and sports? Could soccer be the solution? It all started with my brother. My brother was in a gang. Well, the gang was called Echo Park. And I used to look up to him before he wasn't into gangs. So my brother started getting more active with the gang. And it led him to getting shot once. And my mom almost, almost died when she found out. And I was scared, you know, I was scared for my mom, I was scared for my brother, because I thought my brother was going to die, so a month later he, got, he gets out, he's fine, you know. I, I thought he was going to learn his lesson, but he didn't. He got shot again a month after. And when he got out, a week later he got locked up for five years. And then I wanted to continue his legacy with the gang, you know, because I looked up to him. So I started my own posse. I recruited 50 people in the posse and they're all really active and ready to get in the gang. My sister's boyfriend, he started like finding out that I was getting more involved. He's like, nah, I don't want you to be around this. I want you to come with me and start playing soccer and getting more involved with soccer, you know, stay out of trouble. So I did, I started following his footsteps and I started playing soccer and it's helped me ever since. I've been staying out of trouble, you know, playing good, like how I just scored today. At the beginning, I sucked, you know. Everybody sucks in the beginning, but you get better, and when you get better, you start getting more into it, and you start feeling like you want to go pro. If you move physically for 20 minutes or more, it affects you mentally and emotionally. So these two little things inside of your head, uh, proteins and molecules, when you start to exercise, they start to vibrate. And this happens for everybody. I don't care if you're 75 years old, or you're 15 years old, or you're a female or male, you're from Tanzania or from Milwaukee. It doesn't matter. When you exercise for 20 minutes or more a day, these proteins and molecules vibrate and they start to find each other and they create, they create something called brain-derived neurotropic factor. It's like, what the heck is that, right? It all happens inside the hippocampus, which happens inside this little thing about the size of your pinky. Everybody has one. And when you don't exercise, that thing called the dentate gyrus rots and dies inside of your head. If you exercise, this brain-derived neurotropic factor goes into that spot. It makes you more enthusiastic, it helps you think better, it's better for your memory. And on top of that, it gives you sort of an emotional and mental balance. Uh, they say it's like miracle growth for the brain. These proteins and, and, and molecules sit by themselves just waiting for you to move your butt. In 2009, our mayor, Antonio Villarregosa, began the Summer Night Lights program, keeping parks open until midnight every night throughout the summer. The murder rate dropped by an astonishing 86%. There was a 23% decline in aggravated assaults and a 17% drop in gang-related crime. We have in excess of 10 teams in, in our soccer program. They age from ages 8 all the way up to 17, I think it is. We travel all over California playing different tournaments. Our last tournament, our 16-year-olds won the whole tournament. Power program is not just a lot of people think it's just sports involved in it, but it, it's much more than that. As a kid, I grew up in a, in a program just similar to this, so I know how it affects it. It's really a, a mentoring program. Teenagers, um, young kids and stuff, keeping them out of gangs, keeping them out of situations where it get them in trouble, you know, is monumental. And I say that because, <laughs> reflecting back on myself, it kept me out of trouble. Soccer did change me, and it's a big you know, big thing for my life. When I would play soccer, a lot of little kids would look at me too and they'll be like, hey man, can you teach me how to do this trick, do that trick, and I would feel good. When my mom came to see me play in my championship game and I won, and I scored, you know, I felt good, you know. We were like, we were unstoppable. We were the first place and it felt good. I never had that feeling and ever since I wanted that feeling again and again and again. Soccer, like almost any sport, is there's hand-eye coordination. There's balance, there's endurance, there's agility, there's speed. Even in the United States, folks are finally uh, getting into World Cup fever because it's an amazing sport, you know, just to watch the, the level of skill of these guys, you know, the way they change direction, how fast they make, make their way down the field. A lot of amazing things can happen if you play soccer. Yeah, anything's possible if you really want to and you really put the effort in it, it would change your life. 
So I think it's clear that soccer is making our city a safer place and helping kids lead happier, more productive lives. This is Brenda Solis. I'm a Global Girl reporter. This is Our World and My Voice.